that never ceases to amaze me somebody of that political stature with so much experience having run for president five times and probably run for member of parliament many more times he should know very well that it is not his place legally to decide who runs the elections there is a format in this country and a law that tells us how to appoint commissioners but unfortunately for, for us uh, Raila Odinga has never accepted any any uh, chairperson right from Chesoni to Kivitu to Hamed Isak to now Chebukati even if he gets another one he will still reject them in fact every time Raila has lost he has vilified the electoral commission that is his standard just look at history so he ha you know he has cut and changed his spots yes okay. and I think you as media should be running those clips of uh, Raila Odinga. Of Raila Odinga has, has always attacked the commission and particularly the chairperson. If you remember, how did the Hamad Isak team go? He said IEBC must go. Tear gas, riots made the country come to a standstill, caused chaos until the Hamad Isak team had to be paid uh, off uh, their terminal dues to make them leave so that he could settle and stop throwing tantrums uh if and then you remember after that there was the, the we had the kirai to orengo led uh, joint committee of parliament and again he nominated people to that committee they went through the process of setting the legal process of now recruiting the chubukati team within no time they began to have problems with that team also and if you remember at the beginning of the campaigns, you can check the clips again. Gladys Wanga, uh, was, uh, Gladys Wanga and uh, Atiendo Molo and I think Badi and somebody else are quoted as having started a rallying call in Nyanza when, uh, during a political rally that Chebukati must go. That was long even before we started even the, the campaigns of this the time. Handshake. Then yeah. I think when they realized it was, a, uh, no, no, that was even after the handshake. But then when it was shortly before election period started. Okay. And I think when they realized it, that wasn't going to work, they stopped that rallying call and started to say we support. Okay, the electoral commission. But, but, but so this, this is a, he's a, he's a, can, a yeah. perennial loser uh. and a perennial complainer after he I'm loses. I'm coming to you no, because no, we'll no, answer no, the no, same question. She's already said a lot, Ken, okay. surely. Honestly, you... you I thought Ken is <laughs> keeping I think, the time. I, I, that's I, a, that's I, I thought you were in charge. You're going to answer that. But I wanted to ask you, what yes. if Raila Odinga has a point? He so does, he's, he's unhappy with Chebukati. Yes. So he doesn't want him to go into these elections that are key, Kakamega and Mombasa. Yeah. What if he's unhappy? You were saying he shouldn't express himself? No, no. You see, also, at that time, even the time of removal of Hamed Isak and the others, I kept on saying, and many people said, there is a legal process for removing a, a, a commissioner. Okay. You don't lynch them at a public so rally. So he's happy or not, let's he, go yes, the legal the, way. Yes, let's go the legal way. Okay, let's so follow the law. Mm -hmm. But this mob lynching mm -hmm. of public officers is unfortunate. And I wonder, I tell myself, who will want to serve the, the Electoral Commission? And remember what the law says. If he is unhappy with the, res the, 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 the result of the election, remember that's not Chebukati's result, mm. it's the result of the okay. election, mm. then he knows the only recourse he has is, in court. is to go, to, and I'm happy that he has gone to court, okay. but he can't go to court, mm. seek the legal redress from the court, but still use his own extrajudicial me 